Hey guys, Eric Zander here, and I got a request from my friend Bats to make this video, which will show you how to get a Virtual Boy emulator on your PC. Uh, this is very straightforward, and there's not a whole lot of room for error, so I'll try to make this as short as possible while still being thorough and explaining what to do. So let's get started. What you're going to want to do is go to emulatorzone.com, and I'll give you this link in the description. You're just going to click this, VBJIN, and it only takes a second to download. This is the actual emulator. I'll also give you this link in the description to romnation.net, which isn't the normal website that I use to get ROMs, but the other ones weren't working for me for some reason, so I'm just going to link this. Uh, you can search for whatever ROM you want alphabetically, or you can use the search box up here. I'm looking for a specific game, so I'm going to go to V, Virtual Boy, Wario Land, like that. Press download this ROM, and it's going to make you wait probably yeah, 10 seconds in order to download it, but the actual download will only take like a second and a half because it's a very small download so let's see yeah there you go so then you can minimize it I saved mine to my desktop uh, if you didn't you can just drag it to your desktop or wherever you want it uh, if you have WinRAR or 7-zip which is what you're gonna need to do you can right click and press extract here to extract the files like that so that extracted the actual emulator and we can get rid of that file we only need the .exe and then we can take the game also right click and extract it here and we can get rid of the README if we want. So here's the actual game right here, and here's the uh, emulator. So let's open up the emulator, press run, and then you can go to a file, open ROM, and then you can search for your ROM. Mine's on my desktop, just like that, and then there's the game. Uh, if you want, you can go to config, input config, and if you have a controller, you want to change the keys on your keyboard, you can click it. This is very similar to uh, Visual Boy Advance, the Game Boy Advance emulator, which I also have a video on how to get a Game Boy Advance emulator. But this is very similar, so I'm just going to press up on my controller, left, down, right, enter, yeah, da, 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 stuff like that. Okay, So press OK, and if you want to do save states and stuff like that, if you go to config and hotkey config, this will let you fast forward the game, all this stuff. Um, I haven't tried to record actual gameplay using this because I just use XSplit to record stuff. But if you wanted to mess with that, you can mess with these settings. But for save states, let's uh, click this arrow and go down save states. And uh, this is how you do it. So you can make shortcuts like this. So let's say if I press Z, it'll save the game right there. And if I press X, it'll load the game just like that. So let's press OK. And let, let's see if this works. Unfortunately, there is no full screen option. You can just click the... Um, you know the full screen thing but you can't get rid of uh, this bar or this bar which kinda stinks but you know you, you take what you get so let's just see if this works just to show you pressing enter automatic pause off so as you can see it works there's sound and it looks a little weird because you don't have green glasses and stuff like that and sorry if it's too loud uh, and you can change the brightness and stuff like that and then you can play the actual game it all works uh, so yeah that's how you do it uh, if this helps you out, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, follow me on Facebook, do all that good stuff that all those other YouTubers tell you to do. Thanks for watching, guys.